Have you ever wanted simple 3D cable or rope physics in your Godot 4 game? Just for simple objects or basic puzzles, but doing so required additional plugins or an older version of Godot? Well, I made a simple solution that can mimic the properties of rope physics that is potentially more performant than some more advanced implementations. Those implementations use verlet physics. Uh, what this is, I'm not quite sure, I'll just refer to it as a pseudo cable physics as I don't know what the real term for this approximation. If you want real verlet cable physics, I'll link some in the description, but this is an alternative solution that may be more performant, and again, doesn't need anything else. I made this implementation for a game jam that needed interactive cables for puzzles. And this implementation was just good enough that I had several people mistake this for a real verlet cable simulation. The main limitation of the system is that it can only react vertically to the environment, and the cables don't collide with themselves. And when we bunch up the cable or shorten it, it will just shrink. It won't actually uh, bundle up or knot up. You can use the system to make a static cable by linking two nodes to the script and adjusting the values. A linked cable for wiring puzzles. This has a static end and another end with a rigid body that you can drag to a plug and plug in, and this cable has a set length so you can't drag it out too far. And lastly, you can make a loose rope or cable that has a rigid body on both ends of the cable, and this also has a fixed length. This allows you to make a rope that you could then drag around. Uh, to make all of these, add the script to any Node 3D, attach each end of the cable to the script, add the cylinder mesh, which is what's going to be duplicated along the rope or cable, and this needs to be a safe scene and adjust the properties of the cable. The draggable rigid bodies also need to have collision setup. This is just for my script. You need to dampen the linear velocity and disable angular velocity. All right, well, that's it. Download the example project on GitHub from the link in the description if you want to try and test this project out. I'll maybe upload this on itch later. Thanks for watching.